of the biggest reasons why an owner would decide to use an equine nutritionist is peace of mind, right? It's nice to know that the decisions you're making to feed your horse are actually the right ones. It's also really nice to know that the money you're spending on your horse's nutrition is being well spent. There's also a lot of misinformation out in the marketplace, a lot of products making claims that may or may not be true. And working with a qualified equine nutritionist can really help you cut through all of that and again, help you with your product selection. Not only misinformation, there's just a lot of information. So when you go to the feed store and you're trying to decide, well, which performance feed should I buy my barrel racer? Um, that's a difficult decision because there might be four different feed companies feeds in your feed store. There might be five or six different performance feeds. Which of those performance feeds is the right one for your horse in the discipline he's doing? A qualified equine nutritionist can help you with that decision. A qualified equine nutritionist can also help you if your horse has specific conditions that you're dealing with. For example, your horse might have insulin resistance, it might have polysaccharide storage myopathy. Perhaps it's something as simple as, you know, its feet, hoof quality is not as good as you would like it to be. And a nutritionist can help you with those issues. Horses really need to be fed as individuals. So for example, a horse that's competing at say fourth level dressage has very different nutritional needs than if that same horse were competing in eventing or were a brood mare. So, different horses in different situations need to be fed differently. Sometimes nutritional deficiencies can be quite large and maybe quite obvious. Maybe your horse is underweight and it's pretty obvious to you there's something wrong, but other times it can be pretty subtle and in fact your horse might look great, but it may have some sort of suboptimal micronutrient deficiency. For example, maybe your vitamin E level in the diet is not where it needs to be, or perhaps your copper is a little deficient. And these are not things that are going to jump out at you obviously when you look at your horse, but a qualified equine nutritionist will be able to find these subtle deficiencies and help you correct them. And that way, hopefully the goal is to catch something before it becomes a problem. No matter what your horse does for a living, forage needs to be the foundation of your horse's diet. That really is how they've evolved. Their digestive tract is heavily so weighted towards the fermentation and digestion of forages. And forages have changed over time. We used to just get away with feeding hay and, and some horses do just fine being fed hay. But the more, the more you work your horse, the heavier that horse works, the more demands you make on it, the chances are its nutritional needs are going to increase beyond what can be provided by hay alone. We also know that in some hays, the nutritional profiles are not as good as they could be, especially when it comes to trace minerals and some key vitamins. And so it's necessary to add those from some other secondary source. The big question then becomes, what secondary source? And that's where a nutritionist can help you. What we know about equine nutrition today is very different than what we learned 20 years ago. And a qualified equine nutritionist should be up to date on the latest research and able to bring that latest research to you. Even the articles and things you're finding online, they may have been accurate when they were written or perhaps the person who wrote them uh, utilized out of date sources. So by using an actual nutritionist, you should be getting the most up to date information. Thank you.